Hi everyone, my name is Vu Minh Jin, and I join Aya as a Vietnamese language ambassador in Germany contributor as well. I, I graduated in a uh, university in Japan and now I'm working for the AI company in the Japan. So today I'm in the business trip so I cannot join the live stream event of the AI Grand Final Days. But I try my best to share all with you about our awesome and uh, interesting work. So um, today my presentation is about the reason why I chose the AI and the instruction style when we create the data. So I hope you guys can find something interesting and useful to my presentation. So as you know that uh, right now the ChatGPT, the bar or the Gemini is very popular in the most area in the world. But however, when we conduct a survey between the Japanese and the America, the result is really surprising. Only 7% of uh, Japanese people say that they are using the ChatGPT right now in their work or in their daily life. Only 5% considering, and most of them, they are not you or even don't know about the ChatGPT. When we comparing with America, 51% people say that they are using right now in the daily work. So the main reason why uh, they not use the ChatGPT, first one. I think we got the data privacy. I think the data privacy is a really big problem, not only in Japan, but a lot of countries in the world. And uh, they are afraid that the OpenAI company can use the data to training their model or sell the data for another competitor. The second reason they, about, they worry about information authenticity and spread out of the phone information. For the experienced people, it's uh, right for them to distinguish between the wrong answer and the right answer but for the junior or inexperienced people very hard to them to know and another reason why um, the ChatGPT cannot be used because uh, for the low resource language like Vietnamese and Japanese they are difficult to comprehend and uh, a lot of companies prefer using the open source model because it's more flexible for them to adapt for the specific business need, like they can host the model in the, in the internal and they can train the open source language model for the specific task. However, when we compare the open source language model with the ChatGPT, we can see that right now the ChatGPT outperforming the open source language model in the lot of tasks, for example, in this task for the labeling. When we compare the ChatGPT, Open source language model and MTUB, the human base of it from the Amazon Web Services. And we, you can see that the ChatGPT outperformed all of the language, open source language model in a lot of tasks, even uh, better result when we compare with the MTUB service. So, the reason why the ChatGPT can have a very strong performance, I think, with two reasons. First one about the model, and the second one about the data. So that's the reason why we need a qualified data set to be a robust open source LLM. So AIA is the data and model focused project and data is essential for an LLM model. So AIA is standing out from the norm. So why we need the data? Because the model is getting bigger, it increasing the number of parameters and uh, enhancing data also improve the model. But the data set is much harder to get than increase the model size. And uh, on robust and the last data set can uh, eat the source for the brick model and the data set can be reused in uh, different tasks and training a different model as well. So focus on the data sets is a very effective strategy. And you can see here, even with a small model with qualified data, you a strong performance. You can see that uh, the model 51 have only 1.3 billion parameter. Compared with GPT 3.5, we have 175 billion parameters with the performance on a human evaluation. And uh, MPPP is still the uh, same result or even a little bit higher. So the data is essential, but for the language like Japanese and Vietnamese, there are lack of the quantity and quality. Um, so the mission area 
need to uh, provide a qualified data set. So this is the reason why I chose the idea. So another reason about the community. Aya is a big community of experts. And thanks to Aya, I have the great opportunity to meet a lot of people, or fellow researcher or AI enthusiasts from the many countries and the total number of resistor user in uh, 27 November 2023 uh, almost 3,000 people and in the next part I will talk about the prom and uh, completion building for the prom building process first we build the base prom scenario like the multiple choice question answering or factual questions and uh, we list our own possible format for each scenario like for the multiple choice question answering we should uh, list all of the question relating to this scenario and then we create the prompt content and the combine with prompt format like um, we uh, we set the, con the prompt and we set uh, the question content and we list our own the possible answering a b c and for the completion building process we will list our own possible completion format for each prompt scenario like for the multiple choice question answering the answer should be or um, we choose this answer because something something and then for effective or an efficient way to create the prompt and completion we use the q a data sets we question us prompt and answer us completion and we try to um, rewrite the completion if need and sometimes we also use the chat gpt uh, to generate or rewrite the completion so the key factor when create the prompt first now uh, we try to define the scenario clearly to clearly define the prompt scenario and create a concise specific and various prompt format for the scenario for example lies uh, based on the below headline and the key idea summarized by about 500 words paraphrase next the key factor when creating the prompts so we try to define the scenario clearly clearly define the prompt scenario create concise specific and various prompt format for the scenario for example uh, based on the below headline in the key idea summary write a uh, 500 words paragraph related to, to this topic and unclear like uh, write a paragraph about the abc topic and we try to provide the contextual information provide a central context in the prompt for example if the scenario is to give an advice uh, we try to specify the advice provider the target audience of the advice style etc next be uh, precise and direct uh, use a clear and unambiguous language in the prompt for example uh, please provide a brief history and uh, some interesting facts about the capital city in france and unclear like uh, what is the capital city in france and um, we provide example if necessary so uh, for the complex task provide an example in the prompt for example uh, tell me whether the below two sentences have the same meaning or not if yes it plans the reason if no why are only the different next the key factor when creating the prompt so the first one direct respond to the prompt we ensure that the condition directly address the prompt for example we have the question what are the health benefits of regular exercise? A good condition should be a regular exercise offer numerous health benefits, include improved cardiovascular health. And the bad condition is the exercise requires time and effort, and it's important to choose activity you enjoy. You can see that uh, for the bad condition, it's really general and not focused on the problem. The next one, a contextual understanding. The condition should uh, demonstrate an understanding of the context providing the problem. For example, I have a sentence. I'm planning a trip to Paris and I'm impressed in the art history. Uh, could you recommend some must visit place related to the art in Paris? The good condition should be uh, for an art history enthusiast visiting Paris. The Louvre Museum is a must visit place. And the bad condition is when in Paris, you should definitely try to local cuisine. Um, the best sentence, the correct sentence, but it's not relating to the question and not focus on the context in the question. 
But lastly, clear and understandable. The composition should be easy to understand and in the appropriate length. For example, I have the question explain how the photosynthesis work in the plants. So good composition should be uh, photosynthesis in the plant is a process where they convert sunlight into energy. And it happens in the leaf where a green pigment called chlorophyll absorbs the sunlight. The back question is the photosynthesis in the plant involves a series of complex biochemical reactions facilitated by photoplasts primarily in the mosophyll cell. So, next we're talking about the challenge when we create a problem and a condition. First one, we uh, have to ensure that the problem for us is understandable for the model. For example, read the following paragraph and answer the question at the end. So, um, we try to figure out a solution and one of the solution is that we try to prompt in the ChatGPT. If ChatGPT uh, can answer the prompt as expected, so the prompt format can be used. If not, we change the prompt template until the ChatGPT answer is correctly. The second challenge is uh, commission sometimes is very short in the length. So the solution is quite straightforward. We try to enrich information in the commission by providing more information, which is directly related to the prompt and the contents in the commission. For example, who is the author of the Sherlock Holmes? So the initial condition is that Sir Arthur Conador. So we try to English condition, uh, like the author of Sherlock Holmes series is Sir Arthur Conador. He is a British writer and physician, and uh, he created a character Sherlock Holmes, one of the most famous and enduring character in uh, detective fiction. Next, a challenge about resort to build the problem and commission is limited. So the solution is that we try to use the task, question, and answer right in the high school book, uh, public uh, quiz, etc. So lastly, I have to shout out to all of my team. Uh, we share a lot of uh, ROM commission format, and we try to figure out which is the best one, and we um, share all the challenge we met try to find the best solution to uh, solve the challenge. So without my team, maybe we cannot meet the target on the time. So that's it. Thank you very much for your listening.